Alrighty, you guys, sorry about that. I accidentally uh, pushed stop on my phone. I uh, just wanted to show you what I was telling you guys about my remote wire, uh, which I want to point out there that has not much to do with your system not working, your amp not turning on. The remote wire is simply to tell your amp when it's time to turn on. Uh, if not, you would always just have it continuously on because you have your uh, power wire hooked up directly into it. So, okay, back to it. I plugged mine in into my fuse box over here uh, with the windshield wipers. The only down part about that is that when I do the first click, my radio turns on and I should have music playing now, but I don't because my windshield wipers don't work in that first click. But my thing is, if I'm ever stopped uh, somewhere waiting outside for my friend or something, I'm not going to want to be listening to music or blasting my music. And if so, I could just do this. Second click. Music should come on. There you go. And now my windshield wipers work, which is why it would come on. Uh, so that's how I have it set up. Uh, remote wires there. Let me go back to the back. Oh, and I'm going to put my car into reverse so you guys can see how the lights shine through my uh, backups. And I'm going to throw on my uh, emergencies as well. So let's go to the back. trunk here show you guys how I set up my amps now that I have two it's kind of messy uh, my girl stuff is back here so oh also did LED strip over here level 4 dial dynamics let's see if I can get this um, LED strip all along the edge very bright very very bright with the box right here you can only imagine how dark it was having that having to be your light at night absolutely no visual over here or over here all the light would sit on top of the box uh, Rockford Fosgate 12 P3 ported box 4 channel amp on the side uh, I don't know if I showed you guys in the last video uh, let me show, oh, well, let me show, no, I'm back here let me show you my lights very bright very very bright that's my reverse, by the way. LED as well. Like I said, everything LED. LED uh, bulbs for the, you know, for the directional. Third, stage three LED license plate light. Can't really see it now, but at night, man, does it really glow on the floor. Just extremely bright. Um, let me see back here. Yeah, let me see if I can get a shot of the brakes. Let's see if I can get a shot of the brake, how bright those are. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm using my iPhone. Don't really have another camera. Yeah, let's see if you can see it there. Brakes are going to go on now. Extremely bright. Uh, you can see what I mean by not having any troubles at night stream extremely bright um let me show you guys my mess of wires which don't care for much since no one can see them they're in the back of my car let me turn this slide back on all right big mess here I'll show you guys that better. Opening my garage so you guys can really so get some light in here. Alright. Here is my amp that is powering my sub. Big mess of wires, you guys. Like I said. I am running a 4 channel amp because all my speakers are Rockford Fosgate. With aftermarket speakers, I highly recommend you use a 4 channel amp to get the, you know, the best quality sound out of them. Monoblock going straight into my sub, remote wire, monster. I do everything monster as far as RCAs, just, you know, why not get the best quality to your system? You buy good once, you you buy good stuff on their first time, you only have to buy once. Uh 
Okay, so we have uh, these for my tweeters. That way I can control how many decibels I actually want to come out of them. They are extremely loud, so I have them on negative 4 dB, I believe, right now. Uh, all this wire is a uh, speaker wire. Every single speaker has to have its own wiring sent back into my 4 channel app. So I have all that set up. That is a wire distributor, power wire distributor. So I have the that one coming in from the front, my zero gauge, into two fuses, which I highly recommend going into two four gauges. Or actually, no, one is zero gauge coming into my mono block, and one is four gauge going into my four channel amp back there. Big mess, you guys. But like I said, can't see it. No one's ever gonna have a beat down here looking at this, so it's whatever. Um, trying to show you how I converted my uh, my uh, my audio here. All right. So what I used is I used the uh, inline converters, which pretty much takes your factory speaker ports and turns them into RCAs. For this one, you only need one side, left and right. So actually the converter for this one is in that that front panel over there underneath all that. Ran both wires across, connected it to that, run my RCA for my monoblock app all the way through into there. For the four channel app, now that was a little tricky. What I had to do is I had to tap into every single factory speaker wire all around. Run that wire way back here with new wire into a converter. Let me see if I can get in there. Converter is right there. That's my converter that makes the RCAs. You see the RCAs right there. Monster, of course. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see all that wiring right there. That is all speaker wire, factory wire from the uh, stock uh, system. You have to run every single wire. Uh, tap it together. I use butt connectors, but connected it there and then have my RCA's coming out Which is this blue wire right here that one so uh, Like I said man that process running those four changing out all you know all six speakers Running them to a four channel amp was just whew, ridiculous uh, you know the 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 process for that was just long it took me about three days of course I had to work so it wasn't three days consecutively um but yeah let me go ahead and put my car back in park see if I can turn it on for you guys maybe you guys can get a little sound of the exhaust itself Simple muffler swap. 